All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel and welcome to an all new game, ladies and gentlemen. We are showcasing here. It is called Day of Dragons. Now, if you haven't heard of this game, ladies and gentlemen, yet, well, it's not really a new game. So some of you may have heard of it. It was an alpha stage for quite some time, a few years, and there was quite a bit of controversy when the, when the game first released and came out on Kickstarter. So if you want to go ahead and watch videos about the controversy on Day of Dragons, ladies and gentlemen, there are plenty of YouTubers. You can just go ahead and check it up in the search bar. You'll find plenty of content regarding the big scam. Well, ladies and gentlemen, they are back again with the beta, and I do believe that everybody deserves a second chance, especially game developers, and we want to go ahead and check out what they have to offer. So ladies and gentlemen, it isn't beta. Apparently, this is an old new game, basically. Uh, when it first released it was a desert map it was very boring there was not much to do that a few dragons it was it was pretty much an asset flip at the time and uh, everything was just kind of bought assets it was nothing made for the game itself um but we want to go ahead and actually check out what they've done and and what they you know have brought out in this beta so ladies and gentlemen without further ado let's go ahead and check out day of dragons all right so we are at the dragon selection menu this is pretty cool okay so factions what what? Okay. Okay. We, we definitely want to be a dragon. <laughs> this looks pretty cool, though. Oh, it's got all the powers. So, ladies and gentlemen, there's stats and everything. This is pretty epic. And there's more dragons than I thought there is. Okay, so these are not yet unlocked, but we have got... What is this called? What is this called? Is there a name for it? Okay, Flame Stalker. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So, we can go through it here. We've got the Inferno Ravager. That's pretty cool. We got the Shadow Scale. And we've got the Asset Spitter. This is DLC, ladies and gentlemen. Um, the Asset Spitter, I don't think, is a flyer. So, I mean, he's just like kind of on all fours. That's pretty cool. He is a DLC, but we are able to actually, I think, use it. This is basically Toothless. I think we're going to go ahead and try out Toothless. Oh, but this one over here, the Inferno Ravager. What? And the Flame Stalker. Okay, okay, okay. I think what we're going to do is we're going to try out the Shadow Scale. I think this is for the for for this video, ladies and gentlemen. We've got to go ahead and try our toothless. Uh, random gender. Nah, we'll make a we'll make a male because I'm a male. Random skin. Iconic. I don't, we'll just use the iconic. Okay, let's go ahead and spawn. I don't know if we're gonna spawn as a baby. So this is pretty epic. This is the loading screen, by the way. We're an egg. Oh my god, we're an egg. All right, guys, look at us. We are so cute. <laughs> <laughs> and we're blue, guys. Okay, so basically what happened, I, I unfortunately didn't record because I was trying to figure out what was what, what I was supposed to be doing. Um, you start out as an egg, and you just start clicking buttons, and he hatches out of the egg. Like, the egg actually breaks. It's so cool. Um, but we, we're blue. I don't know if this is the iconic color that we picked. Uh, you press I, and you can see all your stuff that you need to see. We're a hatchling at the moment, and family, we are dragon. We're, and we element is plasma, which is pretty cool. We'll go through all the calls and stuff like that. His hunger and stuff, though, we need to uh, we need to go and find some stuff. We, uh, we need to find food, and we need to find some water. But look how cute he is. Uh, obviously, I don't think he can fly. Um, but uh, I may just be pressing the buttons wrong, but I'll figure that all out. But I want to get to a nice little spot. Oh, look, we found our mushrooms. Oh, look at this. Oh, can I do something with it? Can I do something? Can I hold to eat? Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, you can eat the mushrooms. Oh, that is so cute. So is this... Okay, so did that actually... Oh, there we go. Hunger is at zero. So thirst. Okay, so that's exactly how that works. Look at the water. So I had to mess with the settings a little bit, uh, guys. It is still in beta. Um, and as you guys know, my PC is pretty powerful. So I had to actually mess with the settings and dial some things down, like the draw distance and stuff like that, uh, just to get it running at like a decent 60 FPS, you know? <laughs> But it is in beta, I'm pretty sure the performance will get better over time. Let's go ahead and have a look at our thirst. But our thirst isn't going up. What's going on? Maybe we drink really slowly. But we're, hold on, we're walking into the water. <laughs> so we're a blue color. That's so cool. I wonder if, if when you don't pick iconic, what color it gives you. It probably gives you like a little black one. Oh, I just heard some. Oh. There's something over there. There is something. There is something over there. Oh, man. We got to figure out how to fly and everything. But I do want to go through the course quickly. So you saw the first one. Let's get up on this rock over here. Let's just hope somebody doesn't come. Oh, damn. There's no collision on the rock. All right. We're going we're gonna to do it right here. We can actually get rid of that. There we go. Press T. Oh, that's one call. This is two. Look how epic that is. He's like Godzilla, ladies and gentlemen. This is three. Oh, he's so cute. Four call. 
Oh, it's his scared call. And that is all the calls. I do know you can do a bite. And you can shoot. Um, I just... Oh. So, oh, there. Sundragoness. Server admin. Huh. So I don't have enough bile. Apparently, I think bile is the stuff you need, you know, to, uh, to shoot some fire or plasma. I think it's plasma. Well, this is a plasma element. But ladies and gentlemen, uh, right off the bat, first impressions. I mean, I've played Day of Dragons in Alpha, the big desert map. And like I said, it was really boring. Not much to do. Um, this is pretty cool. I like this. I like the environment. I think this is perfect for dragons. Um, there are a few issues, as you can see. There <laughs> but it is, like I said, it's in beta. So there is a little bit of glitchiness in the animation and stuff like that. It might even just be server-side just because, you know, I've joined a U.S. server and I am in South Africa. So that could actually just be me. All right, so Thirst has gone down. So we just got to make sure that we are close to these little mushrooms. I'm pretty sure they spawn everywhere. So we're going to go ahead and uh, grow a little bit. And I'll catch you guys in a bit. I'm going to try and figure out if we can fly. We might not be able to fly as a baby. That's usually the case. I think that was the case when, uh, when it was in Alpha as well. Oh, okay, so I think the yellow bar at the bottom is the growth bar, and the uh, white bar is our stamina. We can sit. Of course we can sit. Oh, he's so cute, man. Oh, yes, um, he can go invisible. Oh, oh yes. I like, the, oh, I like the controls as well. I've got to just mention that the controls are quite nice. Apparently, I've heard that it's very difficult to uh, fly as the dragon, but uh, we'll be the judge of that. But ladies and gentlemen, this is Day of Dragons. Uh, if you guys want to actually play it yourselves, you can go right now on Steam. I think it's 130 bucks in rands. So it's probably around like 10 bucks US. So, I mean, it's pretty cheap. And uh, now's the time to actually get into it. You know, if you want to play a, a dragon game, a survival game. If you guys have ever played the Isle, this is very reminiscent of the Isle. Um, so you'll fit right in. Okay, so I think we're full. We don't need any of that anymore. This is, look at the environment. This is epic. But I'll catch you guys in a little bit. I'm going to try and figure out if we can fly or not. I'm going to ask in the chat. And, uh, yeah, we've got to grow. We've got to grow, man. We've got to grow. Grow and survive. Okay, so you can lay down. All you got to do is just hold R. So you can't also, you cannot fly as a baby unless somebody picks you up. So you can be picked up. So you hold R and look, he lays down. So I just wanted to show you guys. There is a first-person view. Look at this. And you can only, like, look at a certain, like, rate, if you know what I'm saying, because of his head. But look how cool this is. This is a whole other dynamic. Uh, but ladies and gentlemen, we are surviving. We're growing. I think the orange bar on the bottom is a progress bar. There's a dragon out there, guys. There's a dragon. Look, 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 look. The rendering distance is also pretty epic. Oh, that is so cool. And I think this is a PvP server, so I've got to be very careful. <laughs> we're just going to... Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Hide, hide. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Uh, we're gonna die. We're probably gonna die. Hello? 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 <laughs> oh, so cute. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> oh, and you make little noises when you chat, which is the cutest little thing. Look at the color of this one. So, ladies and gentlemen, there's different colors. This is pretty epic. Everybody's a toothless here. Look how cool this first-person view is, ladies and gentlemen. This is something that I'll need. Oh, my God. But this environment, it definitely works for the dragons. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Ooh, uh, we just found, like, an entire tribe. Oh, look, it's, a, it's an acid spitter. There, ladies and gentlemen, you see the one that's on all fours there that doesn't have wings? Yes. He's wingless. He's a wingless. But hello, everybody. Hello. Hopefully, they see me as a little baby. And they're like, oh, he's so cute. Let's not kill him. But they might just single me out and go, yeah, he's easy food. Let's just, let's just kill him, boys. Hello. Oh, hello, hello. Oh, look how beautiful the color is. Oh, he's picking me up. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, look. I've just been picked up. Oh, hello, hello. <laughs> look at these colors. These colors are so cute. Oh, ladies and gentlemen. We have found a home. Oh, look, it's a little... Oh, what is that? Can we eat it? Oh, we can eat it. Okay, so there's little bugs. Oh, that's so cool. How's our food? I don't want to eat too much because, you know, I'm afraid that they might be like, you know, he's, he's overstaying. He's welcome. He's eating too much. He's eating everything. <laughs> this is so cute. 
Oh, I'm feeling a little anxiety. I wonder if it's because these guys are not like part of me tribe or anything. I don't know how to join the tribe and stuff. How do you do all of that stuff? Oh, there we go. A oh, cool. Look at the size of this clan, guys. 14 players. Look at all of us. That is so cool. And oh, there is a photo mode as well. But of course. But of course there's a photo mode. Come back here, acid spitter. Look, ladies and gentlemen, it's an acid spitter. Yes. They are so fast. They are so, so fast. Look at him. I want to get him. Oh, he's beautiful. I mean, the models, guys. Hey, you know what? Day of Dragons had a really, really rocky launch. A lot of, uh, a lot of things were thrown around at that time. A lot of you know, words like scam and you know and uh, uh, cash grab and asset flip and you know what? I, you, everybody deserves a second chance. And this game is looking amazing. These models, the mechanics. I can't wait to fly. We're almost there. I think we can fly at the next age. I'm hoping this, I think this is the next stage right there. So I'm hoping we can fly at that stage. We can fly around the map and check things out, man. Apparently you can get these blue mushrooms and become Eldar. But if you eat the blue mushrooms, you grow. Uh, watch this, guys. So, yes, we can sit and chill, of course. But we can sleep. Oh, it's so cute. Our head still moves a little bit. <laughs> but I noticed this guy over here, he was sleeping. And I'm like, well, we definitely can sleep. I mean, this is epic. We have another little baby that has joined the, the tribe. And look at his blue. He's blue just like me. <laughs> He's so cute. I just saw this one right here, Malefic Whims. Male fic, male fic. I just saw Malefic Whims over here flying through with this little blue thing and I'm thinking hmm I wonder if he just killed this baby and brought him here for food. No, he just brought him here. So cute. Look at this white one. Look what we have found. Oh, let's jump. We can actually fly. Um, look at him. Oh, hello beautiful. Hello. <laughs> oh, look at it. I had to show you. Look at the color. That is amazing. So they are all different colors. We have chosen the blue color, which is the um, the iconic color. He also has the iconic color. And we can fly. I'm just waiting for it to get a little brighter. All right, guys. I think you know what. Let's go ahead and do our first flight during the morning. Yes. Oh, oopsie. Oopsie. <laughs> so, ladies and gentlemen, this is my first flight. Um, I think you basically... I, I'm just gonna wing it. I don't know the exact key combination, but let's do this. First flight, ladies and gentlemen, with the dragon. Du, 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 du. Jump, press F. Oh, I don't know. I just got hurt. <laughs> oh, right, there we go. We're in, we're in, we're up, we're up. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. Okay, so basically how it works, you gotta press S to go up, uh, W to go down, Oh, wow, this is epic. Can we glide, though? Okay, so, so to go faster is shift. Oh, yes, we can roll! Oh, my gosh! This is insane. This is insane. Oh, we found other dragons. What is up? What's up, guys? This is crazy. Okay, so can we roll? All right, so, oh, this is insane. This is insane. Okay, the flying mechanics are scary. But this is so cool. I mean, now we can actually see the map. All right, space our nose to slow down. Can we can we slow down into one spot? Yes, we can. So we can hover. Oh, and you actually fall. Look at that. You can that is actually really cool. So physics. Oh my gosh, this is insane. What does it look like in first person? Oh, <laughs> oh, ladies and gentlemen, the only game you can play right now. And live out your little dragon fantasies, man. Day of Dragons. What's up? Okay, so there definitely is gliding. So you can glide. Oh, this is epic. And it does take a little bit of stamina. Just a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and explore. There's our guys down there. Hello. Hello. Okay, so you can only actually press the call. Uh, one call when you're flying. I wonder if we can go this way. Is this... All right, looks like we can. I mean, look at this map, it's gigantic. 
Whoa, what is down there? I think that's the edge of the map down that side. Wow. Look at this. And you know what, ladies and gentlemen, I haven't seen anything besides this dragon and the acid spitter. So it would be pretty interesting if we came across another dragon. I don't know how to land though. Let's actually attempt to land. Here comes a field. The flying mechanics are pretty cool. I like it. Um, very, very, very stiff though. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, so we're gonna come in for a landing. Wait, I just pressed F. Oh, we are so hurt. Oh, that was not a good idea. Okay, so the health does regen a little slow. So instead of wasting time, we're going to do some stuff. Okay, instead of, you know what? Because we might just starve to death. <laughs> but this field, guys, is perfect to practice. I wanted to show you. Yes. It's literally, and I mean literally, it's just like... Oh, we can't shoot that side. Oh, okay, so when it's red, you can shoot. When it's white, he bites. That's pretty cool. It's just like Toothless. This, ladies and gentlemen, this dragon is like a mixture between Toothless from How to you Train Your Dragons. But also, I don't know if you guys remember... I don't know if you guys remember the movie Dragonheart. Yes, looks very much like the Dragonheart one as well. So let's go ahead and fly again. We are at like 56% health. It should be enough. It should be good. Um, space and F. There we go. There we go. Perfect, perfect. But let's practice landings. Let's practice some of these landings. So we're gonna hold space and come down nice and slow. That worked. Okay, so basically we just gotta slow down. Physics. Physics, ladies and gentlemen. We're gonna press F. There, press F. Oh, we didn't take any damage there. Alright, so we're gonna run, jump, press F, and we're up. Yes! This is so epic. Look how blue we are. Oh, now we can see our colors. And there is definitely damage modeled. Look at that. Pretty epic. Yeah, the, the map definitely reminds me uh, very much of the Isle. Which is not a bad thing. I like this. I like this. Unreal Engine, so obviously it's going to look very familiar. We're almost at adult stage as well. We are a little hurt. We want to explore. There's snow mountains. And I want to go see the snow mountains. We okay, so we found some water. Look at this gliding. It's so epic. It is so cool. I mean, yeah, the flying physics are a little tough. Uh, there is a bit of a learning curve. Is there other dragons here? Oh, there's other dragons. Hello, other dragons. Acid spitters, I think, or something. Maybe it's AI. I don't know. That looks like... No, those are dragons. Those are definitely dragons. I'm gonna go ahead and show you this menu. This menu is amazing. I mean, just look at all the stats. And you can actually add mutations and stuff like that. So, obviously, I've gone for Agile at first. Uh, basically shows you your age, what kind of element you are, you know, the diet, all of that stuff. Ladies and gentlemen, it is really epic. And the coolest part of it, bloodline quality. You've got all these stats. The guys that I was grouped with earlier on, they were all trying to get dragons at A. At A stat. Oh, I don't know, they were breeding. So that is so freaking epic. Okay, there's so much more to the game than just, you know, surviving and stuff like that. Ladies and gentlemen, Day of Dragons, what a comeback. What an absolute epic comeback from the game that it was to the game that it is now. It's, it's well, like the old saying goes, night and day. Hello. Hello, hello. Oh, hello, cute things, hello. <laughs> oh, that's so cute. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah, the flying mechanics are amazing. Um, I think we can fly through the trees without getting knocked. Yeah, I mean, we, we were fine if we fly through the trees. I think it would be very, very hard. Um, I don't know if you guys remember, I covered a game. It's basically How to Train Your Dragons, a fan-made game. And if you hit the trees, you pretty much break a wing. No! Oh, so okay, there definitely is damage. It's amazing. We haven't found any other dragons, like fire dragons yet. You know, I've got the... Oh, this looks scary. This looks pretty ominous, I'm not gonna lie. Definitely don't land with F. You just gotta slow down. That, that was gonna be a couple of broken legs. No! Oh, okay. We definitely don't have it hands down just yet. No ways. <laughs> oh, this place is pretty cool, though. This is a nice place to live. Ladies and gentlemen, we've got a visitor. Look at here. The white one. Hello. I'm a little hurt. Yeah, I had a little bit of a, an accident. Yeah. Oh, they're offering me food. I mean, just look at these graphics. Absolutely beautiful. For I mean, a dragon game, survival dragon game. This game is 
freaking amazing. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, so we've just turned to adult, and I just wanted to show you here. Okay, so you got survival, which is scavenger, and you got movement, agile, and you got fertile. So we're gonna go ahead and choose probably scavenger for now. Um, but that is the point system. Text will appear saying press E to pick up hatchling. Okay, cool. So we're gonna go and maybe find like a little baby. If we find a little baby, we're gonna pick him up and we're gonna go take him towards the main area where we can, you know, they can grow and stuff like that. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, I have just spoken with our friend over there, Plaskini. I think that's the way you say the name. <laughs> I'm probably right. Dude, look at the size of that tree. We're gonna go see that. Um, I don't think there's any other dragons in the game yet. I think it's just the acid spitter and this one at the moment, but the other ones are coming. I'm pretty sure I could have selected them though, which is pretty weird. I don't know. This game is amazing though. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and check out that tree. We gotta press F, there we go. All right, look, how, oh my gosh. Look at this environment, guys. All right, let's slow it down a little bit. Oh, this is so epic. And I mean, first person view, how cool is this? So I like you, like I said, uh, ladies and gentlemen, the rendering distance is actually pretty good. I have had to set it down by one. I think it's on Epic instead of cinematic. It's just, it's just so that we could get a 60 FPS steady frame rate. Hello. Hello. <laughs> so cute. Wow, look at the size of that tree. Oh, we just hurt we just hurt ourselves again. 57%. Yep. It's gonna take some getting used to. Yeah, the flying definitely takes some getting used to. Oh please, no, 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 no. Oh, this is this is really, really tough. I'm not gonna lie. The flying is extremely tough. Wow, look at the size of this tree. That is insane. That is one big tree, guys. Okay, I wanted to go up to the top of this mountain because, you know, that's definitely something I wanted to see if, if it was possible. Like, I look, the physics are very, very realistic. I'm not gonna... I, look, a dragon is a big, heavy beast, and it's going to struggle to fly in certain instances or certain situations. But look at this. We're on a snowy mountain. Yes, yes, I have come home. I'm blue, double D, double D. I am blue. I am definitely blue. Look at the size of this map. is huge. Map is massive. Look down there, guys. Oh, it's like a rocky valley. Woo, we need to watch where we're going. We need to watch where we're going. We're almost there. We're all I wonder if anybody's up here. I don't think so. All right, we're at the top of the mountain. Woo. Jeepers. This is difficult. This is... Slow down. Slow down. There we go. There we go. Just let's... Let's go down. <laughs> We're just going to do it really slowly. Awesome. So we made it on top of the snowy mountains. I mean, look at the, the rocks and stuff like that. That's pretty epic. <laughs> the one thing about this game I'm going to mention right now, the audio, 10 out of 10. The, the, the calls from these creatures, that when they sounded in the distance and you're in the middle of the forest, the way it echoes, it's apt. the proximity audio is amazing. But there's nothing up here. Uh, I was actually thinking, you know, maybe some blue mushrooms or something. No? Wow. Just absolutely wow. Look at this. The audio, just the, the feeling of being in flight like this so high up. It's just so epic. This game is just breathtaking. Look at this. I'm like chilling here in the mist just looks so beautiful that tree up out in the background there epic oh we found another one look how epic the flying is look how cool this looks ladies and gentlemen wow absolutely breathtaking we're gonna go ahead and find those pointy mountains you know those pointy mountains that we saw they're only on one side so i want to go ahead and check them out ladies and gentlemen just look at this the sheer scope the absolute sheer scope of this game. It's insane. So that's where we're heading. We're heading towards the big spiky rocks. Look at this. Cavern. What? Oh, that is epic. The map is really, really good. I, I, you know what? From that desert map to this. Wow. 
So just before we get there, guys, I just wanted to show you the calls as he's an adult. You know, his ability, obviously, is to go completely invisible. And it does take stam, but if you crouch, it doesn't. So you can literally stay in crouch mode, in invisibility, all the time. You can literally be invisible all the time. That is so epic for hiding. This creature is so cool. It's like, it. I, look, I know there's no other dragons besides this and the spitter, but... When those other dragons come, they're going to be pretty epic. The fire one and all that. Even though it's so weird that we could have picked it. Maybe maybe, maybe it wouldn't have let us, but uh, look how epic this is. So I wanted to show you that. Yes, and obviously he can crawl. Oh, dude, that looks so cool. Look at his crawling. The animations are epic. And yes, you can alt turn in this game. <laughs> you can actually alt turn, which is, you know, it's not exactly realistic. It should be disabled. Maybe on some servers it is. Um, but I mean, just everything. The animations are fantastic. Let's go through the calls quickly. Listen to the echo, because we're in a very big open space. Just listen to the echo. Oh, that echo. Wow. That audio is amazing. Wow, the echo is crazy. Oh, he's scared there. Okay, and this is number five. You guys have not seen number five yet. It's mating. Yeah, it is mating call. That is so cute. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Ladies and gentlemen, it is the edge of the map. That is so not cool. I flew right into a brick wall. Yep. <laughs> Well, I mean, ladies and gentlemen, I could not have expected that much. Uh, those spiky rocks kind of looked like they were background assets. You know what I mean? You know, they weren't really meant to be flown to. So that's my bad. That's my bad. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is going to be the end of the video. This is Day of Dragons. But before we end, I just wanted to show you one cool little physics party trick. The whole flying mechanics got going on here in this game. Check this out. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, baby. We're going in hot. We're going in hot. Oh, just, oh, this thing can pretty much stop on the dime, though. I mean, look at that. That was insane. Epic. Ladies and gentlemen, Day of Dragons. If you guys... Oh, I just hit the wall again. I just hit a wall again. All right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, if you want to check out Day of Dragons, go ahead and check it out on Steam. It is like 10 bucks, so it's... It's pretty cheap. It's probably cheaper in your country. I don't know the exchange rate, but it's around 10 bucks, $10 US. If you want to play a dragon survival game, and it's got a whole bunch more to it, you can also do role play and stuff. There's PvP, PvE servers as well. Ladies and gentlemen, Day of Dragons is the kind of game for you. And it is in beta, so do bear that in mind. But with that said, if you guys enjoyed the video, please smash the like button. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel already, please consider subscribing to the channel. I'll see you on the next one, ladies and gentlemen. Peace.